The play Durham out of the bunch strong offset formation in the New York Jets defensive playbook illustrates a concept that we can utilize that is going to be good no matter what Madden that you are playing. And I call this the seams or the six passing concept. Now, if you want to get my entire offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for college football, they're going to be available for just $10. $10 will get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for both games. They're always up to date for you as well, which is really nice because they're always getting updated and revamped so that you have the most up to date content available. Again, you can sign up for that down in the description below. For just $10, you'll get unlimited access to everything over there on the website. So the, the play we're going to be taking a look at today is Durham. And really the reason we're looking at this play is because it's going to showcase a really unique concept that you can cross apply no matter what Madden or college game you are playing. And that simple concept is the seams concept. Now the seams concept can be immediate, like you could be attacking the seams immediately. You can also be attacking the seams in a delayed way. And so the way that this works is we have this tight end wheel here to the right hand side of the screen. And this is what's going to allow us to attack kind of that seam area of the field. Now the best way to explain the seam area of the field I explain this as essentially it's really more so like the right side vertical hook area, but it's between the hash marks and the numbers about zero to 10 yards is kind of the first level of a seam play. And the second level of a seam play is going to be about 10 to 20 yards. So if I'm on the 40 yard line here, another way that I can attack the seam is I could streak my running back as you can see right here. And if they are not running, if they don't have like a yellow zone over there, right? I can maybe fit this in this window. And that's about that intermediate seam area of the field. Another way in which we can attack this, and a lot of people are kind of sleeping on this method, is to utilize a slot post. The reason why this slot post is going to work is because where that post is going to come open is really right where that safety is at. And so one of my favorite things to do is to utilize my running back on a wheel my outside receiver on a little drag. The reason this is good is because if they use like a curl flat or anything to the left side, the wheel is going to pull that curl flat out of the way. And where I really want to throw this post is I want to throw the post essentially right where that left side safety is. Again, that's going to be that intermediate seam about 15, 20 yards right in between the numbers and the hash marks. Super, super important. Now, another way that you can get to this delayed vertical, and the reason why the delayed vertical is so effective is because their user is probably going to have to go guard the slot post route. So because their user is going to have to go across with that slot post, that's going to make it so that we can then throw this seam intermediate, intermediate type seam to the tight end in that window. Now, as you saw right there, sometimes you don't want to attack the intermediate seam because in the, when you attack the intermediate seam, you start to get to having to deal with the safeties and stuff. So what we can do is we can put our running back on a streak. And essentially what you're going to see here is we just we don't even have to have a wheel. We just need a flat. But this flat streak combo is going to attack the seam really well. And specifically kind of that first level, that zero to 10 yard range that is going to make this a super good play. Now, that's not the only reason why this play is good, because again, we talked about it previously, but what you'll notice here is that with this drag, the drag is going to pull zones across the middle. It's going to open this window up to be able to throw this kind of in that left side intermediate curl flat type of area on the field, which is super hard to defend as well. Now, let's say that they take their user and they, you know, really play the running back well. And let's say, you know, just for, for, just you know, talking here, that this guy decides he's going to man up on the tight end. What you'll see here is this is going to create a little bit more of a void in that seam area on the left. So we see the user go right. We're immediately looking at that post, and we're going to really want to throw that right there. And as you see, that's literally the intermediate seam area or the intermediate hook curl area, which is super, super effective to attack. I think good Madden players, if you want to be a really good passer in Madden, being able to attack kind of that seam area on both sides is going to be super effective no matter what offense you are running. So again here, let's go over this cover four. You got to kind of think through like where would they be using. Let's say they use the post with the left side hook curl. So then what we're going to do 
is we're going to look and you, now you can actually throw behind this hook curl and you see that really uniquely this year you could actually possession uh, possession catch this route and again this does not just apply to the running back although i do think the running back is a really good version of this but let's say we wanted to turn this into kind of a seams concept over here on the right and then on the left side we have a shallow concept i think this is a really good method and you'll see essentially you're going to put that hook curl in a lot of conflict and as you can see there you're able to attack the middle of the field very very well the seams concept is really good against man coverage in particular zone coverage in particular against man coverage the seam concept is not as good okay uh, and the reason why is because the routes are not man beating routes right but that being said this year is a little different than other years and the fact that we're utilizing a drag and a post on this concept you're going to be able to attack man coverage because of the fact that you have a running back so let me just kind of illustrate here so uh, what you'll see here is let's say they man up the running back here you're going to be able to manipulate this because this year in this in this madden when the running back goes against man coverage, sometimes this vertical streak can get over the top. So you see right here, he'll go, and then he'll just kind of basically pass him, and you can just throw it over the top of that linebacker's head and potentially get yourself a one-play score against man coverage. The other reason why this is a really good man coverage play is because you do have two routes with a cut in them the dra with, with the drag route and the post route. Whereas let's say I was in gun bunch running this play, if I was running this, yes, I can attack both kind of seam areas with the running back streak here, but there's really only one route that's going to beat man coverage consistently, Madden to Madden, and that's going to be this crossing route. So while this is a really good zone beater, you know, this can actually struggle a little bit against, you know, man to man. So just kind of something that you might want to be thinking through. Another thing that I like to talk about here is, if you do have, you know, kind of the luxury of having Hot Route Master, you can start to integrate a different variation of a vertical, like deep out vertical. You could use a comeback too, certainly. But one of my favorite things to do here is use a C route, a streak. So now, if you look at the play, I'm attacking, I'm attacking the seams on both sides. I'm attacking them late with the tight end and early with the running back. So let's just talk about you know, kind of a standard coverage that you might see. So you might see like a clap, like a double flatted cover two here to the left, and then we're using a cover six or cover four to the right. So what you're going to see here is my first read is always just running back. If that linebacker vacates and that safety vacates, I can quick throw this kind of right in here and get some easy yardage. Another thing that I'm able to do is let's say they don't, and let's say I'm getting a traditional cover four, well, now I've kind of adapted the seams concept and turned it into, you know, something else here. And, and you see, I mean, we're still very, very much so able to attack the seams on both sides. But now we're also getting that high low to the left side a little bit differently through the utilization of a C route and a seam streak as opposed to a, you know, a fade. Another really great thing that I like to do that you can do in bunch formations is you can motion this guy in. Why would you want to motion this guy in? Well, again, let's say that we're let's say that we're getting a blitz here. So, you know, let's say that they are sending some pressure and they're going to play cover two to the left side. So as you see, we we cause immediately here a really difficult user because the user has to go to the right side to take away the seams. This is why the seams concept in general is one of the best methods for beating zone blitzes. What you're going to see here right off rip is I can just look out here. I see, oh, he's open. I can throw it because that safety does not come down into that hook curl space on the field, which is why we're able to manipulate that coverage. So I actually really love to just occasionally motion this guy in. There's a lot of different things you can do with motion that a lot of people really don't do this year that they did in years past, but really like this play all in all. And the seams concept is going to be good every single year. Now, before we get out of here, I do want to show you a different variation of the seams concept and just kind of help you understand how this can cross apply really no matter what formation you are using. So if I was to go over to trips tight end offset, I could call the play verticals. As you can see here, we're able to have this seam on this left hand side. Another thing I wanted to showcase is if I go to the bunch tight end, I can basically get into the same um, the same thing that I just showed you 
with the utilization of a motion, motioning the running back across. Now he's the seam streak, and then you have the tight end seam on the other side, and you see how this route combo really manipulates zone coverage very, very well, and it's gonna do an absolute incredible job of beating the blitz for you. If you wanna get better in Madden, I would really encourage you to check out the school website. It's got all of my offensive and defensive eBooks for both Madden and for NCAA. Those eBooks will always be completely up to date for you so that you can make sure that you have all of the tools necessary to win at the highest level. To sign up for that website, head down to the description and click the link down below.